Well, that was a bummer, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, well, shit. Can't get them all right, obviously. Um, I thought Hatton would win by by decision. And uh, and he got KO'd by Senchenko, who isn't all that hard of a puncher. But even with his competition level being so low, I wouldn't say Senchenko is exactly a soft puncher by any means. But is, he's not a heavy hitter, let's be fair. Um, and maybe this is for the best for Hatton. I mean, looking at this fight, it's not as if Hatton was doing overwhelmingly well up until he got KO'd by a body punch, <laughs> which is a bit ironic if you think about it. But anyway, um, he was getting hit a lot. And to think about some of the less than stellar fighters at 147 that can hit a, uh, significantly harder than Sinchenko. Perhaps this was the best way it could have ended. Um, of course, no, the best way obviously would have been Ricky Hatton to win by body shot. But it, it's fairly obvious that Ricky's not going to be able to get back to any sort of form to be competitive at the top level anymore. Um, I think you can only blame ring rust so much um, because this was kind of a poor performance even up until the knockout. I, I had him ahead, but what, like one or two rounds? It wasn't. It was only a ten-round fight, so uh, I just, I just don't see how Ricky, even if he had managed to win this fight, how he would have gone on to win, say, a Pauli Malignaggi rematch. Now, Pauli Malignaggi doesn't hit hard at all, but he beat Sinchenko. And uh, it looked to me like right now he could probably box Patton's ears off. And uh, it's unfortunate, man. I was rooting for Ricky, man. I, <laughs> I was excited for the fight, but... I mean, it is what it is. He, he's not going to be able to make a good return. So... It's unfortunate, but true nonetheless. So, I guess uh, moving on, we'll look forward to Berto and Guerrero, and also see what Thurman's got as far as how how is he going to beat Quintana. <clears throat> oh, the Quig versus Monroe fight was a uh, was a pretty ugly fight in my opinion, but again, Quig Quig looked. Uh, a step above Monroe in, in every way in that fight to me. So so let's see who's next on the list for Quig. Uh, he didn't seem to like being asked about Frampton, so we'll have to see how that plays out as well. So I don't know what I'm going to do in the meantime. So I guess I'll see you later. <laughs>